the movie opens at a swim relay at the University of Florida, where a bunch of young girls can be seen competing for the best swim time. Among all those girls, the main focus of the scene is Haley, who always lacks confidence in comparison to others, and thinks of herself as a loser. This time, she competes at this swim relay and performs quite well, but she just misses the best time. This brings back a memory of her losing a relay as a child and feeling bad, but her father, Dave, continuously encouraged her to keep working hard, and calls her by the name, Apex Predator. After the relay, Haley goes to the changing room, where she receives a FaceTime from her sister, Beth, who informs her about the impending Category 5 Hurricane Wendy, that is about to strike Florida. Beth feels worried about their father, since she hasn't heard from him in a while, and he is also not responding to her calls. The sisters have a slight argument about the situation, since their parents live separately after divorce, and it appears that Haley took Dave's side after the divorce, while Beth supported their mother's side. Beth asks her to get in touch with him through text or call, but Haley decides to visit him, despite the ongoing hurricane situation. She starts driving out of town, in an attempt to get in touch with Dave while continuously calling him. She comes across an old friend, Wayne, who is performing his duties under the evacuation notice, and directing the traffic to a safe path. Haley insists to visit her father in the area, but Wayne forbids her from moving forward, and she agrees. However, she still drives off to the path leading to her father's house, despite agreeing to Wayne's request to turn around. Haley visits Dave's condo, in the hopes of finding him there. Upon entering, she only finds his dog and some old family photos, while the rest of the place is empty. Haley calls Beth to inform her about the situation, and decides to give it another try by visiting their old family house, despite Beth's requests to stay in a safe zone. She takes the dog with her, and heads towards their old house, as the streets have started to flood with water. She finds his truck outside the house, which somehow confirms the fact that he is here. Unfortunately, she is still unable to find anyone inside, which forces her to call him. As she dials his number, she hears his cell phone ringing, and finds it in the kitchen. Suddenly, the dog starts barking after noticing something inside the basement, which alerts Haley as well. Haley descends into the basement, and finds Dave's jacket hanging on a wall. After moving further, she finally comes across Dave lying on the floor, completely unconscious. She also finds a big bite wound on his shoulder, while trying to wake him up. She makes an effort to drag him towards the stairs, in an attempt to take him to the hospital. Surprisingly, a giant alligator breaks through the stairs, and attacks them. Haley quickly drags him back into the basement, and finds a safe spot behind pipes, where the alligator cannot attack them. After spending some time in that spot, Dave regains consciousness, and orders her to leave the town on her own, but she declines his generous offer to leave without him. Dave reveals his broken leg as well, which was broken after escaping the gator, and Haley tries to help tend to his wounds. Haley realizes that she dropped her cell phone while escaping the gator, and decides to get it anyway. She crawls through the other way around, and successfully retrieves her cell phone. However, the dumb girl doesn't return to the safe spot, until the alligator attacks her, and drags her back. The gator bites her leg, but she manages to escape, and discovers that there's actually two gators. During the effort, one of the gators crushes her cell phone, and nearly grabs her leg, but she uses a nearby screwdriver to blind the gator in one eye, and finds a safe spot in another corner. After the battle, Haley tries to treat her wound, and Dave also makes an effort to fix his leg. The water level in the basement starts rising rapidly, making the situation even worse. Haley notices a group of people nearby, and tries to grab their attention with the flashlight. However, the group of people are actually trying to steal the ATM machine from the supermarket, and also some other items. One of the robbers notices the flashlight from a distance, and decides to visit the place, while completely unaware of the alligator behind him in the boat. He then watches in horror, as the alligator attacks the girl and eats her. The guy tries to warn their third partner inside the store, but the third partner watches him messily torn up outside the store. The third kid notices a gator in the mirror, but it's too late, and he also becomes a delicious meal for the gator. Since the stairway might lead to the gators, Dave suggests another way through a passage leading up back to the living room, and asks Haley to give it a try. Haley reaches the hatch, and tries to open it, but it is stuck by a drawer above it. Suddenly, Haley and Dave hear a nearby sound, and notice Wayne outside in a boat. 
Wayne and his partner came to the area, in an attempt to look for people in need of help. Wayne goes inside the house, and notices Haley screaming from the basement. Wayne's partner notices that the boat engine is stuck in seaweed, and tries to fix it. As he steps into the water, he is suddenly attacked by a gator, and is brutally torn to shreds by other gators joining in. Inside the house, Wayne is warned by Haley not to enter the basement, but he is grabbed by the gator anyway, and eventually dies. Haley once more makes it back to Dave's side, and sobs in despair, thinking that they won't be able to leave this place. During their conversation, it is revealed that Haley has been blaming herself for her parents' divorce, since she always thought that Dave turned his priorities toward her and swimming. However, Dave assures her that she is not responsible for what happened, and that she and Beth kept them together, until they moved out on their own decision. He encourages her to keep pushing forward, just as he did when she was a child. He decides to distract the gators by hitting on the pipes, so Haley can swim to the other end. He uses a shovel to distract the gators, but one of them reaches Dave from underwater. He uses that shovel to strike the gator's head several times, and manages to kill it. Haley arrives at a drainage hole in the meantime, where she comes across Wayne's dead body. Suddenly, another gator enters through the drain hole, which is where all other gators came in from. She grabs Wayne's gun from his pocket, but that nearby gator bites her arm. She fires in his mouth repeatedly, until the gator is dead. She then swims through the drain, but the water level has now reached above Dave's shoulders, leaving only a few minutes to survive. She leaves through the drainage hole, but a nearby giant monster notices her and chases her, but she leaves the flood water just in time. Just as the water completely fills the basement, Haley rushes inside the house, and uses a crowbar to break through the wooden surface, but Dave passes out in the meantime. She pulls an unconscious Dave out, and eventually manages to bring him back to life. They exit the house and decide to use the robber's boat without making splashes, so the gators won't hear them. He encourages Haley to swim through the water, and get to the boat, because she is an apex predator, and can swim much faster than the gators. As a result, she manages to get to the boat, and drives back to get Dave. They are successful in the process, but a heavy flood wave pushes the boat back into the house, and destroys their plan to survive. They are forced to split up once more, as Haley is now stuck in the kitchen area, while Dave has been pushed towards the stairs. Haley finds a radio nearby, and tries to call for help, but doesn't receive any good response. On the other end, Dave finds some road flares inside a pot, and tries to protect Sugar from drowning, but a gator attacks him and breaks his arm. The gator then follows Haley, and she gets trapped inside the bathroom with no way out. However, the water level is rising rapidly, so she directs the gator inside the shower, and locks the door. She goes back to Dave, and they quickly rush to the roof. After noticing a rescue helicopter, Haley uses a flare to signal for help, but a gator breaks through the window and attacks her. The gator tightly grabs her from the shoulder, and continuously drags her in a death roll, but she reaches the flare and escapes the attack. As the heavy current is about to drown her away, Dave grabs her arm, and pulls her to the roof. Finally escaping the threat, Haley and Dave lay on the roof, as Dave notices an approaching helicopter nearby. Haley uses the last remaining flare, and grabs their attention successfully. Finally, the helicopter crew lowers something to pull them up to safety, and the movie ends.